Rangers are just melting down. He's only down to six now. And corruption as well. He's going all the way through there. And the ground force just melts. That engagement was disaster. Oh, there, but yeah, well. That's that is pretty much it. Now I'm is down a point supply. GG, ladies and gentlemen. What a ridiculous game that was. Welcome everybody to the Scan Invitational! We're here today and we are going to be bringing the Scan Invitational. I hope you didn't see the screen region, but we are actually onto the camera and I am joined by none other than Mr. Dario Tilo Wunsch. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. I'm really happy you come to my place so soon already again. And it's going to be a blast costing. Dude, today is going to be so fun. And I'd just like to show everybody, because you've joined us now for the Scan Invitational, let's have a look at the backdrop. Look how sexy that is, guys. It's nice and big. <laughs> it's obviously uh, thanking Scan, the sponsors of this tournament. And uh, obviously thanks to Odie for sending us the backdrop. So thanks, buddy, for mm. going out your way for getting us the backdrop here. <laughs> Apparently it was the courier, not Odie's fault. But um, yeah, it's It was supposed good. to be a bit bigger. <laughs> it was meant to be a little bit bigger than it actually is. But an A4 piece of paper seems to be doing the job. Um, well, it's the art in the background. And the art, yeah, it looks really nice, doesn't it? It looks actually like it's painted into the painting. It is actually painted it is into actually the painting. So we actually went to Ikea, got the Scan logo, or not even the Scan logo, is it the Scan heart, with love in it, and got that printed onto that piece of art. So Tilo's actual real painting is on the wall over there, and this is the new one. Yes. But we are here to bring you eight of the best players today in Europe, fighting it out in the Scan Invitational. And there's amazing players today, and you know you're actually you've actually played in this tournament twice now. Yes. And the third one, instead of playing, you still yeah you it. didn't you're invite me. You it. didn't invite me again, so it's because you didn't do good I'm, enough I'm in the just, last couple. Thank you. <laughs> I improved a lot though. I could have shown you what I'm capable of this time, but no, it's alright, man. When, you, when you eventually get a career out, that's when I'll, that's when you can prove. Yeah. When you get so into I'm Korea. going to Korea and then I have to play with massive black on Europe. That's when you invite me. Yeah, man. Then then you can play me and I might beat you. Okay. Maybe. But we are bringing you an amazing lineup of players. Obviously, thank you to Sc at Scan Computers on Twitter. Uh, they've provided the prize pool, which is a thousand pounds, which is a lot of money for a yeah. day tournament. A thousand pounds is like a lot of money because it's pound. I know, it's like the strongest currency, <laughs> so it's obviously well, the best. Except Swiss crown. Swiss crown's pretty, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And uh, the players in the bracket, of course, today, and actually just looking at it, you can see the schedule on our little overlay, which has obviously been provided by uh, Dignitas. So thanks for doing that. The schedule, as you can see, it's it looks like we're uh, one minute. Uh, oh, crap, we made a mistake. We're one minute out. It's yeah, 16 minute minutes, out. man. We meant to start one minute ago. Never mind. The first game, as you can see, going to be grubby. Versus Snoop, then Cass versus Bling, Titan versus Stefano, Beastie QT versus Nurcio. That is the eight players, and then obviously going into the semi finals and so on. So we don't want to delay it too much, but we'll be going into that. And we can actually see stats. These guys have never played against each other before as well. At least not in an That's official cool. tournament. Yeah, they've played against it on ladder, uh, of course. But uh, yeah, it's going to be an awesome day, man. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Yes, me too. The sun is coming down already, it's getting dark. Sweden. Because we are in Sweden and. The sun is up about two hours a day. Sweden literally has sunlight for three hours a day. Yes. yes. It's, it's, it's like rises at like 10 and goes down and starts going down at 2 and then by 4 or 5 it's like dark. Yeah, I do need sunlight again actually. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Chance is like, what? Come on, it rises at like 8. It doesn't get up at 8, it gets up at like 11. I've never seen it get up at 8. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, See, I, when I go for a morning jog at 9 o'clock in the morning every day, which I do not do, but me... Someone may believe no me, sun. it's dark, and anyway, I go out with a torch. My point is, it's getting <laughs> the time of the nerds is starting, the sun is going down, so we might as well start with this tournament. Looks like our players are going to be ready Yeah, they're just still viewing the map, so yeah. uh, Snoot and Grubby are still doing that. And apparently Grubby's like, oh, okay, they're viewing to me. Oh, okay, so we'll get that done. And this is, we are literally like... A band with everything. I got guitar, drums, cymbals, little triangle too that I go ding because we're actually doing everything. Yes. Broadcasting, yes. commentating, admining, x splitting, playing, playing. Uh, because actually we snuck in like secret accounts. It's yeah. Gonna be, it's it's actually, gonna be Apollo versus me, not Snoot versus <laughs> Please, I'm gonna play Protoss and you're gonna play as uh, and we're gonna bring you the first game of today. So we're just gonna go ahead and play some awesome music for you. Of course, whenever we're together, 
we play the best music. I wonder who's that coming from. I don't know. It's a bit of a mix, really, isn't it? But we, <laughs> <laughs> we will play some music for you we'll just while these guys get the veto done, and then we'll be back with the best of three, which is going to consist of Grubby versus Snoot, and what other music to begin our epic journey on. We're going to have some legendary music, guys. So From a game you played. From in the, the game past, I played. That you were actually good at. The only game I was ever good at, apart from <laughs> Wii Tennis. Um, <laughs> so we'll be right back in a couple of minutes, guys. Please stay tuned. And obviously, thank you to Scan. This is Scan Invitational. Number three, brought to you by Tilo and Mr. Dr. Apollo, Self-named. Well, welcome back, everybody, and I'm just going to say, Total Biscuit, I know you're listening, hats off to you doing the Shoutcraft Invitational all by yourself with me and you, and you doing the juggling, because I'm trying to juggle, and I've dropped the balls about five times in a row right now. It is actually kind of difficult, so hats off to you. But here we are ready with the first game now, and Grubby is ready, Snoot is ready, and the first map is going to be Shakur's Plateau. Oh. Loser is picking... Why is my lobby wrong? You might want to just come yeah. out and back in again. Uh, log out and back in again. And because I, said, I think I would have dropped. Yeah, and as we said before, these two guys have never played against each other in an official match. Grubby is, of course, Grubby. Snoot is a player that not that many people know about. He's only recently come into the scene, especially with his WCG run, mm -hmm. where he manages to advance through the groups and then, unfortunately, lose to the finalist in the round of 16. Um, and of course, he's got an amazing stream. He actually has a really good stream. Yeah, I enjoy watching Snoot a lot. Uh, he plays a very refreshing Zerg style. Yeah. Um, has a lot of really cool approaches. Um, I hate using that term because I often get, well, let's say minimized on that term, but he's a really creative uh, player. Um, he, yeah. he does pretty cool stuff. He has really good control. He shocks around the map with infestors mm -hmm. and does surprise attacks. And most Zerg players just wait until they have like the perfect unit composition and just wait out the game and hope not to die. But Snoot yeah. is one of the Zerg players who knows how to take the game into his hand and kill his opponent. He's, he's, his play style, like you said, unique. Yes, to be honest. Unique. Like I, when I saw him play for the first time, I was like, oh my god, this is like you said, refreshing to see because nobody really plays like this anymore. You know, a lot of Zerg players have kind of left his playstyle uh, alone, which if you don't know, is a lot of heavy aggression with lings, bailings and overlords and so on. So, let's see, can Grubby deal with this aggression? Because that's basically how this matchup's going to go around. And actually, Grubby, if anyone who's going to defend this kind of style, I think he's going to be up to yes, it. But yes, Grubby's good in defending and Shakura's plateau yeah. also will help him uh, defend. Of course, Snooter though does not only rely on those uh, tactics. It's his strength, but yeah. he can play normal games as well. All right, man, it's time to go into it. The countdown has begun. Let's go into 
the game, I hopefully have hit the right exploit button, and I'm going to get a nod from my little producer over here, and then did I hit the red button over there, Trance? I'm like waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and uh, we sh it should be done, actually. And um, I think you didn't. I didn't? Now it did. It's like Trance didn't set the hotkeys up, so I'm going to have to do it manually or something. No, it should be okay now. Yes. It's good now. All right, into the first game we go, and control N for anybody that watched, obviously, the IEM qualifiers. I didn't do it, but oh, I did it straight away. Here. Look at Krabby, he's so mad. Or he's Krabby's, out, Krabby's shout amazing. Out. Yeah. I love Krabby. I've been to his house. <laughs> he says big thanks. He gave me wine. So this, yeah, he's <laughs> nice. His, his wife uh, is a really good cook, too. I was at his house a um, couple of times, and they're like really friendly people. I'm gonna visit Nesquil again, actually, in Holland. Um, Pretty soon. Yeah. And I hope I can drop by at Krabby's place again. Ah, <sighs> I gotta change the names, man. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this fast. Alright, so let me just go over to here real fast. Sorry, and I have to... I actually can't do it, do I? I have to do it like this. So, I've gotta change the names real fast before we get this underway. And it looks like this is Snoot <sighs> and Grubby. Man, you really need to... Mate, this. I know. Oh no, I'm like moving it around, I'm like making it bigger and stuff, and everyone's like, oh my god, Apollo, you're the... I don't even know what this tournament is. Why I was are you looking doing forward this? to this event. I was <laughs> looking forward to this event, and you've just messed it up. You've messed everything up for me. Alright, so here we do actually have a spawning pool first down by Snoot. What's and the other hand, we actually go... Was it 12? I was lo watching at your stream because you, you're being unprofessional and stuff. And oh, I had and to so you helped me out with you. I had to supervise you. And it looks like a 14. <laughs> no, actually, that was actually like a 12 forge here by Grubby. He's actually being really safe. 13, I think. Was it 13? Oh, well, I'm distracted because of the song. I know. Let's it's not like we don't, can't even look at that anymore. Yeah. He goes for a really early cannon because he sees an early pool. Yeah. Um, just nothing out of the ordinary. He doesn't want to risk anything. Well, this is like a best of three, too, so. You don't want to risk anything in a best of three for sure, so nice and rapid games. And there goes the gas. Actually, oh. what is he doing? Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, oh my god, what is he doing? This guy's gone crazy. All right, so Grubby is just patrol moving on to that natural now. Oh, that's really smart what he does. He wants to plant down the hatchery before he even gets an overlord, so he got to... No. Oh, okay, he got an overlord. Well, he has to now, yeah. Yeah, because it was blocked by the pro, but um, sometimes you can plant down the hatchery before the overlord that, that way. Of course, Krabby being smart, still plugging the expansion. Four links on their way now. Yeah. They won't be able to get in the base. If you have six links, you can try a run by and get like four links through, but Snoot is not gonna try that. He wants yeah. to chase the probe, get in position in front of the natural to block any additional scouting probes and take two watchtowers. Yeah, absolutely. And this probe is actually gonna be picked up. Snoot, obviously knowing where probes like to be hidden. Oh, oh he's gonna move out the way. That's cool. And, well, oh, it's gonna get picked up now, though, unfortunately, for that probe. Uh, and the drone sees it, and a very fast third base coming down here for Snoot yeah, at four minutes. Yeah, before Queen. Um, yeah. That's something Red plays like a lot too. I yeah. was talk we were actually talking about it uh, some days ago. What, what's better going like two hatch, uh, with two fast Queens or three hatch? Mm. And Red was saying he likes to get a third hatchery really quickly because you're not going to have to transfer drones so much because you have your third hatchery going on earlier and you can just start producing drones at your third base instead of having to transfer them, which costs a lot of minerals. Yeah, and they, I mean, we probably didn't actually see the hatchery, but he saw the drone, yeah, so he, he kind of knows it anyway. Yeah. And he's actually kind of wishing to zealot out, which is an interesting decision unless he builds a second one. I don't know, is he going to send that out to scout or is he literally just trying to block the ramp? Cause he, no, he's actually getting a second one and Chrono Boost in the second one as well. Oh yeah, well that's pretty standard. Uh, a lot of people do it here. He just wants to move out with both salads. Yeah. Um, for s some links, um, because even if you don't do any damage with those salads, maybe kill like a few links. You force still, you, no you drones. Force links, yeah. yeah. But and Snoot is being very patient. He's just going to wait to the last moment. Maybe even take some damage uh, for his hatchery. And this map, to be honest, um, you know, as a Zerg player, it's actually very easy to read the game from this on this map because you can see the third base so often. You can get into the in the main base or natural with an overlord. Mm. You can spot the gases as well on the natural, which can know uh, will tell you if your opponent's building gateways or something. Yes, yes. So um, this uh, this is actually obviously a, a pretty decent map for Snoop, but 
it also is a good map for Grubby too. Like you said, it's a very defensive map here also. And Double Zealots are onto that third base. And they are being a bit of a nuisance. And no links actually... Oh, okay, they have been made out. They are on the way now. And they will be going down to chase these. And he actually doesn't have enough links. There's a third Zealot, I think, coming across the map. So. No, it's uh, Stalker's coming. That's oh. even worse. So, um, that's, yeah, that's even worse. Uh, well, it's still fine, though. I like that Snoot is not over making links. He just yeah. wants to make wait to the last moment. He's gonna lose that overlord though. That's uh really sloppy by him to have them um, uh, the overlord on the ground. Oh crowd. man, he hasn't well he's only he's only just taken gas and he hasn't got speed and Grubby's throwing down four gateways really early here and he's actually does he have a probe out anyway? Yes he does, there it is, there's the probe and a pylon has been planted down mm. and he's gonna be jumping right on top of this third base. Plus one though is not gonna be out. He's not really focusing on chrono boosting that out to be honest. So it's literally just gonna be un un upgraded units but that may be enough, especially without speed that hasn't been done. And he's gone for Lair. Yeah, he's gone for Lair. He doesn't have a Roach Burn done yet. He's getting in the evolution chamber now, but that's not going to help for the oncoming attack because upgrades won't finish anywhere soon. Uh, it's not so good for Krabby to lose, so the units, they're not killing too much, but... There's going to be a lot of stuff being warped in here. Yeah, this is actually... Uh, this may be really difficult for Snoop. Snoop I mean, he's getting his... Drones. I mean, I still like that he's not over committing, but there's gonna be. His oh, he sees it now, man. He sees all every single zealot warping. He knows mm -hmm. there's five gateways warping in right now, and he's in danger because he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to build that spine crawl. He's trying to build an evolution chamber to warp. Oh, but that's very smart. Getting the evolution chamber, probably planting another pylon even closer. Oh, uh, look at that. That spine is doing a lot of damage. There's still no units in production though for Snoot. I don't know. If, um. Oh, he rebuilds it, and that spine, like you said, is getting a lot of damage done. And the second spine there as well, he's still not building units. Like you said, 14, 18, 20 lings get on drones. This guy is brave. Look at that. Yeah, he builds eight, eight, eight drones, drones while this is going on. Um, if he can hold this, he's going to be in brilliant shape, but there's even a cannon, cannon coming down from Krabby here that's going to have those units. Uh, yeah, that's really I don't know, smart too. Roach burn is coming, but there's not going to be a lot of roaches out on the field. They're going to have the speed upgrade coming, but. Hmm, Snoot just goes out of here. It's getting the carapace upgrade to help out, but this cannon's actually in such a great location. Lings are just gonna melt if he tries to engage this. I, I, don't, I don't know what he's trying to plan to do here. I don't know why he's attacking with his links. He's going to the middle. Can't really do anything there. There's still no speed upgrade for the links on the way, by the way. And Grubby knows that something may be up here, and he's actually warped in a sentry and a couple of extra units here. And he's actually chrono boosting out a warp prism and getting the robotics bay. I'm not sure if that is for Colossus or it may just actually be for warp prism speed. We'll have to see. But the hatchery goes down, and Snoot is not looking in a great position right now. He has to rebuild that third base. Links still without speed. Uh, just walking across the map right now. We do have Roach Speed on the way and a macro hatch thrown down, but just losing that third base, Grubby can actually just go back and, and sit more in a defensive posture right now. Look at how minimal the efforts was Krabby uh, took to take out the base. That's four salads, three stalkers, yeah. and two sentries, and he didn't lose anything. He lost that one a salad at the beginning. Those were the five initial salads he warped into, yeah. though. So he lost 100 minerals to kill that hatchery and uh, force a ton of spines and everything. Ooh. I think Krabby is just gonna stay on two base and uh, maybe finish this up, to be honest. Well, um, he's actually researching a Warp Prism speed right now, and also building Immortals. He may use that Warp Prism with Immortals as well. He's getting another gate as well, so it doesn't look like he wants to expand. No. And here comes a Warp Prism, man. It's going down the bottom, and there's no overload spread or anything here from Snoot, so he's not gonna have uh, no idea about this. No. This is gonna come completely undetected, Krabby and... Krabby thinks there's Mutas coming, I think. He, he plans to... Uh, um, Cannon down because he he didn't, didn't yeah. see speed or any any gas here. That's know? true. So that uh, plays out a little bit for Snoot, but it's not gonna help him too much when um, Krabby realizes what's actually going on. And here it comes! Here comes the Sentry. It's got enough energy to double force field, and it does get punted down. And oh dear, drones are gonna get cut down. And an overseer into the main base sees the cannons down, but Ling's again without speed. While speed actually is about to finish, he sees there's no third base again. But he doesn't know about the bottom right. It looks like Grubby will start to take one, actually. But a lot of drones were killed there. Let's have a look at that. Six in total for oh, Grubby. Oh, another drop at the, at the third base. Gonna take out two more drones. It's and just a little bit of a nuisance, but it forces Surf to stay in his base. Yeah. And uh, every single bit of timing uh, of mining you deny as a Protoss is valuable. Yeah. And Grubby actually throws down that third base now. He's also getting Thermal Lance now knowing that his opponent hasn't gone Spire. He's like, well, okay, cool, then I'll start building my Colossus out. And he's pushing down the middle map with actually a scary army. Current upgrades are at 1-1. One, one. There's plus one carapace on the roaches, uh, and the, I mean, um, on the links as well, but plus one melee um, attack is about to come out for the links. But there's a good amount of force fields here that should be able to cut this up really well. Look at that. 
That is a problem if you take that base and your other base got denied because it's almost impossible to defend this against four shields. Yeah, this is... You cannot engage and defend this base really. Uh, I don't see how Snoot is going to be able to hold this really. That Immortal is doing a lot of damage. The links in the background of that. Oh! Hatch goes down. Uh, he goes, oh, some he more goes in with all again. his drones and roaches now, so he will do a lot of damage to this army, but even if he would clean up everything, probably he's far ahead. Oh, the Colossus goes down, but as you said, it, will he be able to clean up everything, though? That's the question, and oh, with that warp in, it looks like he will be able to. Grubby has established a third base as well, cannon get it up as well. We'll be able to transfer probes across. He's at 60 probes right now, compared to just 46 of Snoot, and Snoot is going to lose every single unit here if he continues the fight, because Grubby can warp in another round very, very shortly here. Excellent micro here from Grubby as well, picking up the Immortal, maximizing the damage from that also. And Snoot is looking in a terrible, terrible place right now. Yeah, he shouldn't even be fighting in this position because there's really nothing to defend here anymore. Uh, he's got 1.2 over K overmans. His macro is really slipping. Um, I think Snoot is a little bit nervous, to be honest. He doesn't have a lot of tournament uh, experience yet. Yeah. And if you see him playing on ladder on his stream, uh, he usually looks a lot stronger than he's displaying this game. Yeah, and he's not really playing the same style that he usually does as well, because he's been molded into something else from Grubby right now, mm. because of the way Grubby's, you know, gone into this game and is like, all right, I'm controlling this. You know, I don't want you to get comfortable. I'm the one with more experience. You're the one that doesn't have it. And Grubby's just doing that amazing. Look, warp Prism onto the third base as well. Grubby's just all over the place now, and Lings are at 1-1 one, one as well, so they're going to do okay versus the Zealots, especially with the backups coming, but it's all about the economy, which is the real difference here. I mean, look at the income. It's so low for Snoot compared to Grubby. He's mm. got almost double, really. Oh, not quite almost double, but it will get there soon as he, the probes keep going higher and higher. Warp Prism onto the fourth base as well, and Grubby just controlling the game so well. He's building up a nice army, but at the same time, we do have Snoot teching up. We do have Infestation Pit down and the Spire as well. Um, and obviously, well, that, it kind of looks like he's gonna just going to be for Corruptors. Yeah. Um, and he's trying to get the gases, though. That's the most important thing right now. He does actually have a lot of gas banked up, but 60 drones is so low for 16 minutes in the game. Yeah, he's remaking drones. Now he, by the way, he lost his fourth hatchery uh, to those salads. He didn't cancel that even, so probably even doing more and more damage with that war person. Maybe even take out drones now and snoot really would need to do damage here, but with that war person on the field, he can't move out with his army. Yeah, he's got, oh actually he goes right at Hive, I think he knows that he has to do something mm. to get back into this game and goes straight to Hive now. His he plan just... right now is hope Krabby doesn't attack and somehow yeah. get 10 pool lords out, but I don't think yeah. Krabby's gonna make that. Well, kind of mistake. the Warp Prism may actually just scout it too. He's been so active with it, which mm. is so good, because he's going to pick up a lot of scouting intel, depending on where he goes with this Warp Prism. The Queen actually may push it into the main base, and he will be able to spot it probably here. And all oh, at the same he, time, he he's walking all his through. He down because he wants to do nice scouting, but it's even going to get anyways. And as soon as Grubby sees that hive, which is... Well, actually, is he going to see it as he was, passes by? I don't think he is. But at the same time, Grubby is launching he's towards... He's oh, yeah, he's just going to go for it. Now, he knows that the army size of Snoot is so small. It's at 85 supply, but the, it's just the quality of the units isn't good enough to beat Grubby's quality at 2-1 as well. No. Dropping Zealous into the main base, pulling him apart, while attacking onto the lower ground as well. Grubby just... Like I said earlier, just controlling this game so well, and Snoot once again is on the back foot and onto the ropes. Yeah, I'd like to make it more exciting here, but Snoot without a chance, <laughs> he got like 20 roaches facing a strong, yeah. upgraded Brodus army, I give him the GG, and Snoot knows there's nothing he can do anymore. Yeah, that was pretty uh, much GG there, and Snoot, man, as you said, looking nervous. Looking nervous, just not the same. I've actually seen him beat Grubby on the ladder a couple, for yeah, quite a couple yeah, of times, absolutely. actually, and but that kind of game there was just, you know, completely different for mm -hmm. sure. It, he didn't spend his money very well and he, did, he missed a lot of injects too. His queens were kind of yeah. running from A to B. I think at the beginning he wanted to go for a really greedy build because um, he, maybe he lacked confidence even though he beats Krabby on ladder and stuff. Yeah. That he thought he needs to get ahead a little bit in the beginning by cutting mm. corners. Yeah. And then he just kind of overdid it. He, making drones, not even has, having speed upgrade, going uh, for Leia without roaches, yeah. was a little bit too much. And Krabby was pretty smart. He didn't overcommit. He didn't even warp in more than 10 units to take out the base. Krabby, like, it was both of them were just so uh, kind of, you know, intelligent the way they play. Both of these guys are actually very intelligent players. And we will be jumping into the second game very, very shortly here. Uh, and before we do that, we're just going to go and mes mesmerize you guys with the Scan Invitational. And then we'll be back with game number two.